The reason you need three brushes is because you're going to need one brush to keep clean water on so that you can wet your surface before you float, before you shade. You're going to need the angle brush to put the paint on with and you're going to need the mop brush to soften the edges. I use Maxine Thomas's mop brushes but there are a lot of other brushes out there that, that work that you can find uh, at Michaels or Hobby Lobby or wherever you get your brushes. Okay, so as long as you have a mop brush, and I, I do put the supply list in the on the class here so you can see what I use and, and, and something similar. All right, so you need a cup of clean water. You need the three brushes. You need the Calypso Blue for this teddy bear's eyes, and most all of my teddy bears are I'm using this color for. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to load up your angle brush. You just want to put the point into the paint. And just uh, about a quarter of an inch, a quarter of the brush needs to be filled with the Calypso Blue. You do not want to fill the whole brush with your paint. All right, you want to, then you want to take that and you just want to uh, move it back and forth on your palette. If you're working on a meat tray, if you're working with freezer paper, whatever, you just want to blend that paint into your brush. Oh, and by the way, make sure then put the point into your paint and work it back and forth on your palette till it's worked in. Put the brush down, pick up your clean water brush. You want to damp it, you want to wipe it off, mat it off on your uh, clean paper towel. Then you want to take the clean water brush and wipe it across the one eye. You want that eye wet. I don't want it dripping wet so there's water running down it. I just want it wet so I know that it's wet. Then you want to pick up your angle brush and starting at the top of the eye, like I show in the picture, the center of it, the center of the eye on one side, you put your point towards the outer edge of the eye and then you push down on your brush and you pull. You pull it down along around the curve of the eye and you continue on until you get to the uh, other side of the eye about the same place and you can see where I ended. All right, and then I pick up my mop brush, I put down my angle brush, I pick up my mop brush and I go in and I mop the very edges of that eye with my mop brush. I have other pictures, other pages that, that have samples of the mopping that you can look at. I didn't put the mopping on, on the eye page, but you can look at that and see how that's done. That is how I shade everything on my project, on my teddy bear. I use these three brushes to shade or float, that's another term. If I say float buttermilk, you're not shading, you're highlighting, but you're still doing it the same way. You're floating it. This is how I float color. Other people do it other ways. This is how I do it. I use three brushes, the clean water brush, my angle brush, and my mop brush. And I use them the way I told you. And if you do this over and over and over, you will get very used to it. And you'll have soft edges. And that's what we really want. We want soft edges. We don't want a hard line. That's the difference between a pretty float and a soft looking teddy bear than one that just looks like you took coloring, you know, crayons and colored.